What's up guys, it's Zebron here. This is episode one of our lessons. And on this episode, we are going to talk about types of locks, how to check your IMEI number on your phone, and how to order a GSM check on zebron.com. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to dive into the types of locks I'm talking about so that you can be familiar with the locks I'm talking about. First, this is MDM lock on iPhones. And second, this is also an iCloud lock on Apple devices, not only iPhone, okay? This is also a SIM lock on iPhone. So uh, this one is also FLP on Android phones. And this one is a SIM lock on Android phones. And this one is also a SIM lock on Android phone, but remote unlock. This one is also MDM lock on Android phones. And this one is also MDM lock on Android phones, especially MI. Okay, this is how you check IMEI number on your phone. Open your dial, dial star hash, 06 hash. Then it will show you the IMEI number of your phone. You can also go to um, settings. I'm going to show you in a minute. Settings. Scroll down to general and also about. Then you scroll down to the bottom. Then you can find the IMEI number of your phone. Okay. So that is how you check the IMEI of any phone, not only iPhone. So let's dive into zebron.com and I'll show you how to order a GSM check before you place SIM unlock and service okay so if you don't have account on zebron.com you can uh, go to register and sign up uh, on zebron.com okay but if you have an account already you can just ignore this and go to login and log into your account Okay, so before you can place an order on zebron.com for any services, whether it's IMEI check or uh, unlock service, you need to have credit in your account. If you say credit on unlock field, it's also referred to money in general. Okay, so to do this, you click add credit. You can also check the top add credit is the same thing then you take mobile money or if you are sending an international payment you can choose the vodafone cash and send international payment but mobile money you can use all um, types of um, payment service we have uh, mtm mobile money we have vodafone cash and we also have ether to go with um, ussid payment okay which is very common in ghana as usual but if you are sending international payment you need to use um, vodafone cash okay so now we are going to head into place order if you have the credit in your account already okay click on order now on top of your options or you can slide if you are using your phone okay so it will take you to imei services okay so now you are on imei services you click on search then you search for check specifically check okay when you search for search checks you scroll down to the bottom then you click on check um all in one check pro okay that is how you check it and the price of checking it is one cd 56 pesos or something like that okay so you here you will enter the imei number of that particular device or you can also enter the serial number of that particular device then after entering the imei number as i'm going to show you um the imei number i have so after entering it then you click on place order if you click on place order you wait for the order to complete it doesn't take long to check IMEI number at least uh, let's say um five minutes it will it should be bounced back with all the details about the device okay so on this screen i'm going to show you how to read gsm check information there are info 
there are so many information here which is very important you need to know before you can place an unlock order it is very important first as you can see find my phone is off it means this particular phone do not have an iCloud on it okay second you see US black black status it means whether the phone is being blacklisted or clean and this phone is clean okay so as you can see all the blacklisted and black status are clean it means this phone is clean okay so if we go down we see locket career o uh, uk02 tesco it means this particular phone was registered on uk02 network if you bring it to ghana you will say maybe mtn or vodafone okay so uk02 is is also a network provider in uk so this is the network provider uh, who was um, operating this particular phone or uh, the network provider which this phone has been locked to okay so as you can see country united kingdom okay then you, we go down to sim lock status which is locked it means this particular phone is sim lock you cannot use any other sim card other than uk02 tesco sim card so if you know all this information then you go to zebron.com add credit uh, go to place an IMEI order you look for UK02 services then you place the order on that particular service line okay so you know now you know um, how to read the IMEI information of a locked phone so I'm going to show you a next information which is showing unlock phone okay so hold on this is also another phone and this particular phone is also a sim unlocked so as you can see this phone is from um if we check find my phone is on it means this particular phone there there is an icloud on this particular phone you see find my phone is on and icloud status you see it is not clean it is on lost mode okay it is on lost mode not clean okay it means maybe someone stole it or maybe the person lost the phone but that person ha has locked the phone in his iCloud account that is why you see it on lost mode okay so as you go to down it said um, device black black status clean clean okay that is good so when you come down to the um what do you call it other options you see lock it to career unlocked sim sim lock status also unlocked it means this particular phone is factory unlocked and you can insert any sim card from anywhere in the world except only the icloud status which is on it means icloud is on it so if it is your phone and the phone you put the iCloud on it then that's fine but if someone brought it in to work on it you know that this particular phone is sim unlocked so if you try to bypass the iCloud it will work okay but let me give you some information here concerning iCloud bypass if you want to bypass any iCloud phone and you check GSM check and the sim card is locked keep it in mind that if you bypass that particular phone network will not work but if you check that uh, particular phone gsm status and the network or sim card is unlocked it means if you bypass that phone the network will work depending on the kind of method you use for your bypass skills or failed you understand so if the network is locked if you bypass no matter what the network will not come but there are some cases 
um, is a bit technical, which uh, as we go further, maybe I'll explain. Maybe someone used a JV to do semi unlock in a way that one we can work around for it to come, but not 100%, right? Okay, okay, guys, that is all for now. I'm going to do an episode uh, which is going to explain a different topic on this uh, lessons. Okay, guys, my name is Ibron. Thank you for watching this video. Peace.